Okay, guys, so if you watched my short the other day, you would have realized that the RAM turned up for the Spectrum 128K. So this is going to be a bit of a repair video. As you know, or if you've watched any of the previous videos, I had a bit of a problem when I first got this. There was uh, a, a graphical glitch going on. Games weren't loading properly. So I put it out there to a few other YouTubers I know, and also in general, to anyone who knew anything about them, because I'm quite new to Spectrum. I always had Commodore 64s. So, so I put it out there to people. Anybody know what this could be? And most of the replies I got was RAM. It's got to be the RAM. So I went online, I looked on eBay and places like that, and when I looked at the prices, I was like, Jesus Christ, Like you're looking at nearly a tenner per chip in some cases. And I thought, I've got to replace four chips here. That's 40 quid. I've just forked out quite a bit for this Spectrum. Do I want to be paying this? But at the same time, I'm also thinking, I want to bring this thing back to life. You know, this thing's 40 years old. Like, you know, let's get this thing repaired. So then I, I looked around on AliExpress, and I found them on there really cheap. 10 chips for £8, including the postage. So I figured, well, why not? Even if they're rubbish, I've not really lost anything. So, join me, guys, and watch the little bit of footage I've just done here of me fixing the spectrum. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. Yes, it's working. So, you've seen me repairing it, and you've just seen that little clip there of Nifty Lifty working. Could, could you tell from my voice there when I was like, oh, it's working? <laughs> could you tell I was excited? I felt like I was almost like 10 years old again. So, yeah, so it works. However, there is a slight issue. Out of the four tapes I tried on it, I tried uh, Empire Strikes Back. I tried a tape that Bear sent me, the Retro Bear that is. And I also tried uh, one, another one that came with it. Uh, Project F, I think it was called. None of them worked, all crashed. Both sides of the tape, and I tried them several times. Nifty Lifty, however, every time I loaded it up, it worked. So the question is, have I fully fixed this and it, the tapes are an issue? Or is it there's still something dodgy with one or maybe all of the RAM? Don't know. I'm going to have to tinker around with this to try and pinpoint what this actual issue is. Personally, I think it could be the tapes. When I got the Spectrum, it was in a sorry state. It was grimy as hell. It was covered in, like, you, you know, like that discoloration, like a tar from people who smoke. It, inside it was obviously you'd expect it to be dirty inside but it seemed like it had probably been chucked in a shed somewhere so i'm thinking were the tapes in the same place maybe degraded could be so what i'm going to do and i'm told that these work pretty much all the time c64 i can atone to i buy homebrew games for them they pretty much always work i've only ever had one that didn't and it quickly got replaced so Spectrum, not so sure, but I've been told by Paul and a few others, so I generally homebrew games on the Spectrum will run without any adjustments or anything. So this is what I've done. 
I've ordered a homebrew game. Once it gets through, I will try it out. Now, if this works and it loads up, then we know it's not the computer, it's the tapes. So, I mean, this is the thing. Is Nifty Lifty loading up because it's 48K and the system isn't running in 128K? Could be. But if I get a homebrew game, it's a 128K game and it loads, then we know it's not that, right? At this point, it's a process of elimination, isn't it? So, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm waiting for that to come through. Going to give it a go. If it works, then I get my answer. However, if any of you guys have an idea and you think you know what the issue is, let me know in the comments below because it'd be a big help. Like I said on my previous video, you know, I didn't have Spectrums when I was younger. This is all new to me. I had Commodore 64s. But because of other people I know in the YouTube community that have Spectrums, it kind of drew my interest, and this is why I've got one. And I, I love 8-bit micros. I've got to be honest, I do. And you'll be able to tell that. So I had to get it. And I, I really want to get this thing running properly and working properly. So if you think it's not the tapes, guys, and you think maybe it is the RAM, let me know. Now, another thing I'm going to do, once that tape comes through, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to start checking the RAM. Because it could be that they're out of four RAM that I replaced, you could still have a dodgy one. After all, they came from China, you never know. So it's going to be a process of elimination. I'm just going to try all different things and see what happens. But like I say, guys, if you know what it is, let me know, know down below. Right, that's all there is to say, really, on this. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy geezer out.